during the next five years, 75% uh, of organizations are expected to adopt AI. Uh, and a recent uh, World Economic Forum study suggesting that that could lead to a 25% job loss rate. Many startups uh, plan to adopt the AI to save time and money. Edith Tianshan met with one of those companies. A camera that takes a live feed to produce images of various styles and patterns using artificial intelligence. Craig Keller co-founded the Devant Systems, which was recently featured in an event for AI enthusiasts in Los Angeles. The software that we've built uses image-to-image uh, -image AI inference in close to real time, so as fast as we can generate images from an existing image. In this case today, it's a camera feed, but it could also be a sketch or a painting or a digital render. Um, and in terms of what that does for being resourceful, so one person, like a freelancer, can now do the work of a five-person team in a shorter amount of time. Right, so uh, maybe you're designing something that would have taken you 20 minutes. Well, what if it took you 20 seconds? A filmmaker at the event has already expressed interest in using the technology to create his storyboards. Keller argues his software could be a game changer in also fashion designing photo shoots, ad agencies, and various multimedia productions. There's already a lot of talk here about AI replacing thousands of jobs across many industries. Inevitably, it will change the nature of jobs and might change the titles that we have. Um, the car replaced the horse and buggy, right? Like, that's inevitable for that to happen. Um, it inevitably is going to replace jobs and create new ones that we couldn't even imagine two years ago. A report by Goldman Sachs, a U.S. investment bank, predicts up to 300 million full-time jobs could be replaced by artificial intelligence. But some experts argue that in many cases, jobs may be modified and not necessarily replaced. But workers will have to learn and adapt to using AI. I think it is important for everyone to be able to educate themselves a bit to, to help inform their opinion uh, because AI is broadly available right now. You know, anytime we want now, we can use it in our web search. Uh, we can use it to answer questions. And so I think just with a little bit of hands-on uh, experimentation, we can see that it can also be a very powerful tool for retrieving information, making recommendations to us, helping write the first draft of an email. You know, there are many ways it could improve our lives for the better as well. The output capacity of AI softwares like Davent can be far superior to human labor when it comes to certain tasks. And now many companies adopting these new technologies could bring workers with AI skills at the top of the labor market. It is Tianshan, CGTN, Los Angeles. Uh, for a deeper dive into if AI is going to take our jobs, we're joined by Mari Farah, tech expert, uh, director of product and design at the collaboration platform Ronde. Uh, good to see you and welcome to the show. So this, this AI trend, and I know it's been in the works for a while, but it seems like this past six months, it's kind of taken a turn for the hockey stick and everyone's now talking about it. But the downside is everyone's talking about what they don't know and they're worried about their jobs, should they? Uh, thank you for having me, Phil. Uh, well, uh, let me start by saying that uh, people are right to be uh, worried that uh, some of their jobs are going to go away and be replaced by AI. But at the same time, they should be also optimistic of the future uh, because their jobs may go away, but new jobs are going to be created with AI. And it's going to open up a lot of possibilities for humanity and for the society to get better at in every different field. Uh, I, I understand that there'll be some jobs created, but the point of AI, I mean, I hate to say it, but is to make people more productive, which is a nice way of saying replacing people. So there's no way they're going to have more jobs to re replace the number of jobs they take taken away, because that's not a good investment. But the point is this, if you don't know technology, and or you're not good at it and you're getting replaced, it's a very low likelihood you're going to end up working or, or being in, in AI. I mean, those people are going to have a very difficult time. That, that will uh, definitely uh, happen, and a lot of uh, jobs are going to uh, disappear. Uh, but at the same time, this is where we should uh, all uh, be looking at governments where 
I truly believe that uh, governments, as we speak, they are definitely starting to think how they can overcome these major challenges. One of those things that uh, they uh, definitely have on their agendas is a universal basic income that would grant a salary for every uh, citizen in, in the country that would help them live their lives. And at the same time, governments will have the responsibility for training people, training them and helping them learn new skills that they can uh, continue be productive in this new reality. Wait, you're, you're, you're saying that I, I don't have to work. Uh, I mean, I have a job, but I will get income and I don't have to, to, to do anything, right? Right. But that's, that's part of it. So it, at, the, at, at first, governments will definitely need to start uh, with these training programs to help people gain new skills and become experts in this new tech. Okay, so let's, let's, let's do this. Let's not lose our jobs. Let's not get replaced. Why don't we learn how to use AI um, to make our jobs better, right? So what kind of skills do, do we need to learn uh, to keep yeah. ourselves competitive in the workplace. I mean, you work with a collaboration uh, platform that, that I right. think helps a lot of companies. These are things that we, we need to know. What should we do? Yeah, of course. Uh, so there are a lot of skills that people uh, could learn to uh, uh, cope with this uh, new reality. One of these major skills everyone should get better at is prompting or writing uh, great prompts for these AIs like ChatGPT. The, the better you get at writing prompts, the more productive you're going to be and the more co different jobs you're going to be able to take. Uh, for example, if you were a software engineer and you got better at prompting, you would become uh, a software engineer who's capable of doing the work of five, if not 10 engineers. And the same goes for other jobs like legal. If you are a, a lawyer or a legal advisor, you can use uh, prompts and use ChatGPT and AI to help you uh, draft uh, some notes or uh, come up with. Uh, right, but let, let's use a real life example. Let's let's have our producer and, we, and we're going to do a story about uh, AI. They could write a uh, a fancy intro. AI could write the intro for itself, could it not? Right. Yeah, it could definitely. And if you were uh, an excellent prompter. Uh, excellent at writing prompts for AI, you would come up with, you, AI would help you come up with the best intro. So this skill set that when you say prompting, you mean asking the right question or asking the question in the right way. Is that what you're exactly. saying? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So talk about other real life parts. Forget about work for a second, mm -hmm. a second but everyday living, whether I'm driving, whether I'm at home, whether I'm paying bills, how can mm -hmm. AI help us save money and time and make our lives personally better? Uh, so it, it will definitely help us in all sorts of things. Uh, you could imagine it be uh, helping your kids uh, at school. If you, instead of uh, hiring a, a private tutor, you could imagine uh, soon that there are going to be uh, online chat bots that you can, your, ch your children can interact with to learn in new, uh, new things at school, to get better at math, at uh, any, any subject. For, uh, for, for, and yeah. That is why I'm going to get my coaching license and I will teach tennis in case I don't have mm -hmm. a job. <laughs> but that's really good advice. But, uh, yeah. Appreciate you. Have a great weekend. It is good advice. Thank you.